when the Lord put it in our spirit's bow yeah. that we should plant a million trees to prepare the land for the return of his son. And I tell you, Jesus is coming back soon. <laughs> this ministry is about a billion souls and you and I are being fired up and stirred up to go out and, and share so, Jesus. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Amen. But he's coming back and the Lord's saying to us, the God TV family, prepare the land. And yeah. this is the land that needs preparing. This yeah. is the desert, brother. It is wonderful. And you know, this is where his people are going to stay when they come. Yeah. And the scripture also says that we, we, we talk about it all the time that because the desert needs to grow and develop because his people are coming back. This is the Aliyah people, the Jewish people are coming back to the land and they need to have a place to stay and to live. And this is part of the development of the land. And this is scripture being fulfilled. In front of us. Just hours after Israeli forces came and destroyed just about everything in this village, the residents are wasting no time. They're already clearing away the rubble and starting to build again. Get down for the enemy. You know, it's quite amazing, precious one, how the Lord has led us as a ministry, as God TV, to connect with this land, this land that God loves so much. And, uh, you know, I also am amazed all the time that we read the scriptures, the Old Testament, the prophets, and they talk about, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, how God is going to... Uh, provide this land. It's an eternal everlasting covenant to the Jewish people, starting off with Abraham and then Isaac and then Jacob. And then we see how the land of milk and honey, which the, the, the Israelites finally come to take the promised land, and then they live in it for a number of years, hundreds of years, and then they sin against God, and then they disperse to the nations. And then the prophets declare something extraordinary, how God will bring his people back to what has become a barren land in 1948, we see something extraordinary, a miracle in the histories of the nations of the earth where a majority of the United Nations agree after much prayer and work. And of course, prophecy is fulfilled and the land is reborn in a day, the nation of Israel, 1948. Well, wonderful viewers, it is really a privilege to finish this program by us being able to uh, present this to the mayor of Gevotba, Mayor Moran, please, on behalf of our God TV family worldwide, it is a privilege for us to be able to put a very little bit, but for them and for us, it's a lot, but uh, this funding into your community and into the work of the Israeli antiquities, thank you very much. Thank and we want to give this to you with a great blessing. Thank you for coming here to Givot Bar and thank you for becoming a partners here in Givot Bar and you always invited here. Oh, thank you. Thank and, you um, so much. I said to Bo, maybe we should buy a house here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>